Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another video for you. Today's video, however, is going to be a little bit of a haul showing you a few things that I picked up for my wedding this June. So I'm getting married in June, um, if you didn't already know, and I'm basically doing the whole thing like myself. Well, not myself, me and my other half were obviously doing it together and help from family and friends and that sort of thing. But it's going to be a real DIY wedding adventure because... Um, well, the wedding industry kind of sucks, doesn't it? Like, oh my goodness. One thing I have found out since deciding to actually finally get married is the fact that things are so overpriced as soon as you mention wedding. Like, even just talking, just one second, I, I go off on tangents a lot, okay? But like, we looked at this one venue and for like a party hire for like the whole day, 24 hour, it was like 80 pounds. And we're like, oh my goodness. It was literally just like a village hall, like a really, really pretty one. Um, And then... <laughs> Like you could hire it for 48 hours from start to finish, have your party in there or whatever you wanted to do. And I think that was like 110, like there was a little bit of a discount. But then it said, if you want a 48 hour wedding hire, then it was 500 pounds. That didn't include like having the ceremony there because they didn't have the license and the stuff. So I have no idea what on earth they was charging the extra for. Um, but that was just an example or like, different party buffets for example as soon as you put wedding in front of it it's crazy um so yeah <laughs> i decided well me and my other half we both decided tommy and i um that we would go around the diy route and have some fun with it make it exactly what we want and to yeah our taste really we're a bit outside the box on this one and we're going for something a little bit different than we otherwise thought we would go for i always thought to be honest i'm gonna go one way or the other i'm either gonna elope in las vegas a little white chapel elvis adore that or barn style you know like all classic but when we get prices for that up around 15 20 000, we was like no <laughs> No, we're not participating in that. So we're doing a budget wedding. It's going to be fun. Everyone's looking forward to it. And our theme is basically for like decor and that sort of stuff, colour schemes. We're going for pink and red. Very Valentine's-y, very Little White Chapel again. Um, and also the accent kind of metallic is going to be silver. So like your pink, whites and reds and then a silver, because obviously you've got to have a bit of white in there. It is a wedding after all. So yeah, hopefully you can see that with these things that I've picked up. So a lot of the stuff we are picking up from trash shops, secondhand and repurposing. We're going to do lots of DIYs. DIYs will be on my channel as well. I'm going to do a little series that's going to keep me motivated. And I hope that you guys will give me some ideas. If you see anything around about and on the internet and you want to share with me, then definitely send them over to me on Instagram because I will like be looking for ideas and I'm really open to you guys sending me messages and stuff over on there. So without further ado, that was a lot of rambling, wasn't it? I'll just show you a few things that I picked up so far. I have been collecting, um, what do you call these? Cake stands. This is for a buffet table. We're having buffet food. We're having a food truck. It's going to be awesome. But yeah, I wanted to create like some height, some decoration. And I thought, do I hire these pieces? I looked at hire companies, ridiculous. So I thought I'm going to go to the charity shop. It's something I love to do anyway, charity shop my way around. So this one here, absolutely gorgeous. I think I showed this in my last haul video. It's got a really, really tall pedestal, this one, which is why I really, really liked it. Um, some of these can go for absolutely crazy amounts of money, but this one here was three pounds from Cancer Research UK. I shop around at all charity shops. People ask me where I tend to shop to and honestly, it's just everywhere and anywhere that I am. Typically, it's like Truro. Sometimes I go to Penzance. I'm going to St. Orstor soon. Um, Red Ruth, Camborne. Um, there's a few in like the industrial states that like pool. Um, someone told me to go to the animal hospital one and I did. And I thoroughly enjoyed that one. I've been to the pants one down in Falmouth all around Cornwall. Um, I'm going, see, I picked this one here up on my travels as well. This one here was a pound, just a smaller one. It has got a little bubble in the center. I don't think that's supposed to be there, but I just think it's really, really cute. But this one's fun with like this little scalloped edge. And I got another one, which I've wrapped up. What's this one? Oh, this is like a nice, plain one look at that i think my mum picked me up this one because i don't remember seeing this um this was a pound i don't know where that one came from but i've got all my mum and my sisters on it i'm like keep an eye out for the glass cake stands oh this is a little pretty one as well look at that loving the patterns of that one a little short one that time so i've got four there i do actually have five where i've put the fifth one i do not know but they're all different heights they're very beautiful 
this is a bit out there, but these are going to be my wedding shoes to walk down the aisle in. I'm not really that fussed to be honest, they're literally just going to be worn at walk down the aisle. Um, I actually had my eye on this exact pair in ASOS, right? I think it was about 30, 35 pounds in the sale. They might even still be available. They were in my size like a couple months ago. And I said to my mum, I really, really like them. And I had a few different designs in my basket and I found these three pounds. Now I usually don't know. I steer away from shoes but to be honest they're in cracking condition look at them hardly been worn they've probably just been worn down the aisle themselves but yeah look that's literally what i'm gonna wear them for and then i'm changing into different shoes which i am very excited about but look at the jewels on them aren't they pretty so nice like i said they're from asos they're by a brand called london rebel they're wide fit though and unfortunately i do have narrow feet so i'm going to be putting some little gel pads on the bottom there just to kind of space them out for my feet that worked perfectly yeah three pounds absolute steel. The next thing I picked up were these. So I think these are like table number kind of things. I think either they're from Poundland or Home Bargain or something. I've seen these around, um, but I found them in the chat shop. There was five of them. As you can see by that little label there, look, they were 50p a piece. And the reason I picked these up is again, because we're doing a buffet table. I think these would be good like at the back um, to put on like, you know, food names, like what things are, for example, if we have a little vegetarian option. Um, I don't know exactly, but I picked them up because it was £2.50 for all five. I thought that was a bargain. Helps out the charity as well. And yeah, I've got them then. So yeah, if you recognize these, let me know where they're from. I don't recognize the label myself but i reckon it's probably either poundland or home bargain something like that nice and cheap probably anyway but yeah 50 pp thought you can't go wrong next up this is a bit random but i have giant red velvet curtains do you see look at the fabric on these these are vintage red curtains they've been altered and stuff to different sizes um but i actually want these for a diy i've been keeping an eye out trying to look for velvet fabrics and yeah my mum came across these these were five pound for the set of two so like think about how long this fabric actually is like these are crazy long um and yeah five pounds absolute bargain for those the quality of the fabric is incredible like i said and the reason being is because i am making um handmade velvet banners so i've made this one here it has got my wedding date on which i don't want to expose just yet but do you see this let me move back a moment big big velvet banners they're gonna have tassels on the bottom looking gorgeous i wanted a pink colorway with the red on, which obviously I've already done. And then I'm gonna do another red one, kind of coordinating like in the opposite colors, just to go on the wall, like behind the DJ stand. I think that will look amazing. And yeah, five pound for two curtains, absolute bargain for all that fabric. Really, really happy with that find. Next up again, with the silvery theme, like I said, this is a tablecloth. The biggest kind of tablecloth you have ever seen, I might add. It is 2.5 meters in diameter. It's a circle tablecloth, like a cake table, cake stand, um, and it is silver and sequiny. <laughs> Look at that, 15 pounds that was, but an absolute bargain because the only other ones that I found online at this size were between 50 and 60 pounds by the time you added shipping and VAT. So yeah, very, very, very pleased with that find. 15 pounds, just what I was after. It's going along with like, the disco kind of like little white chapel kind of valentine's -y day theme we're kind of going for and yeah look at that the perfect amount of tackiness and i just love it i think it's a bunch of fun it's so pretty and i'm gonna have my cake on top of there our friend is doing our cake for us she is a great baker and i have every bit of faith in her i sent her over exactly what i want she's excited to do it i hope and um yeah, it's going to be sat on top of that gorgeous sparkly tablecloth. All right, so this bit here is a bit ridiculous. Look at the size of this box. I didn't buy this from the chat shops, but I did buy it from a lady off the Facebook marketplace and she sent it to me. So <laughs> it's a whole load of red satin fabric to begin with. That's obviously the one side up way around. You see that satin fabric? 20 meters of red satin fabric, I might add. 20 meters. Look at this. Absolutely insane. Think about like 
a buffet table like swag like a 90s style i'm putting it over some like of you know the other tables we might have we're having a candy stand and all sorts it's going to be fun right but on top of that oh more fabric <laughs> so yeah 20 meters of fabric and then we got this rest of this box like look at this it's huge <laughs> is full of those chair sashes you know when you tie up a nice bow and they look nice and 90s vibe again like a prom but these are obviously red satin the only problem is obviously they come scrunched up in this box and i have had to make it my mission to iron them i'm like right i'll do 10 a day it's been about 10 days and i've done 10 they take forever to iron because they are so long so i've ironed 10 up look at that gorgeous and yeah i'm rolling them up to keep them kind of unfolded and unscrunched until the day so i think if i keep doing that i'm going to be good i got 120 of them like i said and 20 meters of the satin fabric to match for 35 pounds what a bargain if you didn't know how much of a bargain that is just google the chair sashes like they're like one pound fifty usually each especially from like if you buy them like individually or you're looking around about 40, 50 pounds for say 50 off of Amazon, I think. I think that was kind of the, the roundabout price that I was seeing. But yeah, 35 pounds for 120 chair sashes and 20 meters of fabric that I'm gonna do loads with. I'm so pleased. So yeah, that's basically all I have to show you today. I do have a bunch of other things. Like I bought platters, I've bought all sorts of things, but I'm storing them at my mom's house. And this is just the stuff that I've got kicking around that I need to pack away now. So I thought I'd share it with you before obviously heading off today um i am doing the diys like i said i'm literally surrounded by them i cannot stop looking around the camera and i'm really sorry if that's distracting but i will be starting my wedding diy videos very soon i will create a little series out of it because it will be a fun ride i am sure very red very pink very silver and very disco-y and a very kind of little white chapel-esque i'm sure so yeah hopefully you enjoyed today's video i will tune back in for one of my diys and i will see you very soon for another video Bye!